What's up all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of CinemaRose.net, adjusting my camera. Anyways, <laughs> I'm coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, I am staying at home. I am not going out. This is day five <laughs> of staying home. You guys stay safe, stay home, make a lot of junk journals. <laughs> I've just been um, going crazy decoupaging. Honestly, that's like all I've been doing all weekend was just decoupage, decoupage, decoupage. I'm trying to get another batch of those envelopes done so I have nice amount before I put them up for sale. Um, but today, what I wanted to do was um, I'm still dealing with my scraps. I got my paper scraps slightly under control, slightly. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to work on my fabric scraps next. So I'm either going to sell them, I'm going to sort them soon, um, or I'm just going to use them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I am definitely going to use them. Um, so right now I have a bunch of lace scraps. This is my bag of lace scraps that are just little pieces left over from other projects. Sometimes they're kind of bigger pieces, but there's uh, they're like the only kind that I have of it. So I just put it all in this bag. <laughs> it's a huge bag. Um, so that's what we're going to be playing with, as well as, of course, a bunch of fabric scraps that I have <coughs> in another bag. <laughs> I love uh, five-gallon bags for my scraps, apparently. Um, so here is another one. You know what I should do is I should buy more of these containers. You see these containers? They're from the dollar store. They're actually $2 because the dollar store now does stuff that costs more than a dollar. <laughs> so I should actually buy more of these so I can keep them more organized. Um, Kathy, hi, Kathy. Are we all going stir crazy? Yeah, I'm not going stir crazy, girl. This is honestly life as usual for me. Um, you know, I work from home anyways. I'm lucky enough to. Um, but you guys know we're always busy at home in our chunk journal corners whether you're organizing or whether you're actually crafting something there's always something to do in your craft for me guys i know okay so i'm also going to be using um scraps of cardstock i'm just using white cardstock just because hi delene how are you girl um i said i was gonna grab my regular scissors and i did it so give me one second let me grab my scissors okay so i have some scissors here um, I like to use the, I've done this before live, it's been a minute since I did it though, um, but I did use a piece of cardstock so that way we can adhere whatever embellishment we're making onto a page, otherwise it's just a bunch of fabric and uh, that's not what I'm trying to do here. So maybe I'm going to attach some lace like this or some fabric I should say I was gonna use my fabric scissors for the fabric <laughs> I have them here too um so let's see we'll get just the general idea of what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna sew these two pieces together Lori hi Lori let me back up a little bit so you can see okay okay so I'm gonna put these two then I'm going to add the backing part. I'm just going to add it somewhere in the middle, if you can see there. It doesn't even have to be perfect. It just has to be somewhere in the middle there. And I'm using a teal thread. And I think I'm going to use just a zigzag stitch. Maybe make it the widest, longest zigzag stitch I can, just so it gets kind of both fabrics. Let's see if we can make this. Okay, that worked out well. As you can see, I sort of sewed through the cardstock. Maybe I can make that better next time. <laughs> Though it doesn't really matter. You guys know it's a junk journal, so it can be messy. I'm not really concerned about all that being perfect. So then I have my bag of lace here off to the side. And I can... Technically, this is fabric, right? I don't know. So I can add some lace. Is this too big? No, this would be pretty like this, actually. Let's add some lace here. I'm going to make this a little bit less wide and less long. And then I think I want to place another piece of something. 
here's this like little, I don't know, I think this is some like lace curtain or something that I cut up. And so this, I'll just put that right here. And so that kind of creates like a little basis, a little base for something else that we can add on. Um, behind me, I have this like little container of like little printables. Um, so I think I can put something like this on here would be cute, like a little title. Let's see. That stitch that I had on there was fine. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, okay, let me move the camera a little bit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of hard to show you all exactly what I'm doing. Okay. 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 Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, happy maker. Hi, happy maker. How are you, girl? Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and trace around the... See, I'm just not happy with the angle. But anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and trace around the border here of the phrase that it says on here. Let's see. And then I'm going to... Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. But I do like it to be in, in frame. Okay, so here's this one. You're all mine. I like that. And so let's start on another one. This one will be a little bit shorter than this one. Let's see what other scraps of fabric I have. See, this fabric is always cute. I love this fabric so much. It's so pretty. So I'm trying to make it about the size of a piece of cardstock here. I use this piece here as well. I need to like settle it. I don't know exactly how to do this perfectly. <laughs> I'm just trying to like settle it in the middle somehow. Let's see. There we go. So now you have the base so that this can be glued onto your journal. So that was the point of that. Let me get a little piece of lace. Just put them through my pieces. I shouldn't be this picky. I hate when I get picky with things because it, I mean it doesn't really matter. They're all scraps. I <laughs> just I hate when I stress out about things. Okay, so this would be cute down the middle. What else could we add to that? Let's see. There's a little bit of this. Just to add a little bit more texture, even though it's all the same color, really. Okay. And I don't think it would sew together as smoothly if you didn't have this <laughs> backing piece, honestly. Um, so I think that's good. That looks cute. And then I'm looking through my little printables here. No. Okay, give me one second. Um, Well, I have this little jar. No, it's too big. Hang on. Okay, okay. I'm going to bring some more stuff over. Loving from the oven. <laughs> oh, oh, here's this like little 15 cent tag. That would be cute off to the side over here. That would be cute. Oh, God. 
this camera angle though. It's like hard. Maybe I should have been down lower for y'all. I don't know. I can't tell. Uh, oh, Happy Maker. I'll have to check those out. I've been staying away from Facebook <laughs> for anxiety issues. <laughs> For anxiety reasons, I'm staying away from Facebook for a while. I already apologized to my team. <sighs> you guys, I've been needing a little bit like a breath of fresh air. Not that because I'm inside, but because like I've been watching too many too many news, <laughs> too much news coverage. Um, so I need to relax on that. <laughs> I need to relax on the news coverage and watch more relaxing things that I enjoy, like serial killer documentaries. <laughs> I'm weird. Okay, so this will be, <laughs> this will be over here. Like I said, I've just been spending my whole day decoupaging. Oh, right, 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 right. Um, Leslie sent me some happy mail. Thank you so, so much. I'll be sending you um, a thank you letter. Uh, she sent me a bunch of napkins, like a, <laughs> a bunch of napkins. Um, so I already cut a bunch of them up, and I've already started decoupaging with them. It the, made me so happy. Okay, so this will be cute right here. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I got to stop watching the news. <laughs> it's just not, it's bad for you. You know, I've been watching, I've also been watching George Carlin. It's bad for you. <laughs> Okay, so let's do the next one. Put those off to the side. We shall do the next one. I need a piece of cardstock. I'm going to try to make some little, little ones. Maybe we can add some stamps or something. Can I just cut a strip, basically? I guess about an inch wide. It doesn't even have to be straight or anything. We're just using it as a base. And I keep using this little scrap of pink. Uh, fabric, which I've almost used up entirely. Let me get some more fabric bits. Oh, here, this one's cute. Oh, no, I need that piece. <laughs> Sometimes some pieces are perfect to make fabric ribbon from. So I try not to use those. Let's see. Like if they're already strips, I need those strips. <laughs> Okay, so this will go here. Um, let's see what else. I want to get some different fabrics and ones I'm using. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, okay, this one's cute. So let's cut off a piece of that. Okay, so now these two pieces can be on top of each other. Uh, this as a base. Okay, so these will be. Let's get those together. Okay. And of course, this is only going to put a very small dent into my fabric stash. Unless I make more, which I might, you know, you never know. <laughs> See, I don't think I need a piece that big. Oh, this would be cute. Oh, 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 right. I love this. I have this, like, pieces of this little, like, daisy chain type of crochet. I got to see George Carlin once a long time ago on tickets from a radio show back in the 80s. That's so cool. <laughs> That's cool. He was a very cool dude. <laughs> Love his comedies. Him and I share the same notion for children. <laughs> just not for us, you know? Just, well, I think he has kids, but it's just not for me. <laughs> Does he have kids? He sounds like he would <laughs> he sounds like he wouldn't like children. <laughs> and I think this one is going to be just by itself like that. Because I like that look already. Could just be a little page decoration. So that is something. Just gonna leave that by itself. Oh wow, look at this. 
That's actually really pretty. It would be really pretty hanging like that. <sighs> yes. Okay, so let me get more of this fabric because I love it. Let's see. And then this with this. I'm basically just putting two pieces of fabric together and then a piece of like lace in the middle. That's basically my formula right here. So let's sew that together. I think you had a daughter. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> like it didn't sound like he liked kids. <laughs> Maybe he just liked his own. <laughs> okay, so those look good. Oh, right. I want to put this piece. It's going to be a little bit bigger. But I still want to do it because it would just look so pretty hanging off the side. Let's see if we can manage to sew it together here. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it got it for the most part. <laughs> Good enough. That looks really cute and interesting. I like that little dangle. That's adorable. I think I'm going to try and sew this part too because it's a little too dangly. Let's see. Yeah, that looks cute. A little bit more stable. Okay, I'm happy with that. A little bit more stable. <clears throat> this on here. No. This would be kind of cute right here. Kind of goes with the color scheme. I just like this little dangle part. <laughs> Do I want to add more dangle parts? I don't think I have any more, but I like that. Oh, you know what else would look cute? I have this pink lace right here that would look cute on this part. Let's do that. Let's see about this idea. That would be a really cute transition. Just to be a little lower. Okay. Let's see about sewing this together. <clears throat> I think this looks great. You cut off these pieces here, make them even. That looks really cute. Now we can sew this onto here. And I think I'm gonna use a straight line because I still want to be able to read that. This is so cute. I am so surprised. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I knew it would be fabulous. Okay, this looks good. And this, um, we could probably make a line right here too, just to get the fabric on. The paper. And if you do it once, it looks like an accident. Twice. That's a choice. You know what I mean? That's a choice. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I like that. That looks really cute. The little dangles off to the side, the little lace. Must have been crazy having him as a dad. You're right. <laughs> Hi, Lori. This one is my favorite one so far. I think it looks really cute. And uh, I really like it. <laughs> that is my favorite one so far. Okay, so. Did I use all the cardstock? I did. Okay, so where is the cardstock? Here it is. Okay, so let's cut up another, like I said, it's about an inch wide. About, I'm just freehand cutting it, so it's not really that big of a deal. This one will cut in half. How about that? I'll make the next one's a bunch of short ones, but this one will cut in half. Okay, so fabric. 
got this green fabric that's kind of cute. So like I said, I'm using two, about two pieces of fabric and a couple pieces of lace to do this. And of course that card stock in the back. So this is not exactly ironed out. <laughs> I see a lot of people's um, fabric strips and fabric scraps and they look all like ironed. I don't know how they do that because I kind of... <laughs> I kind of just jam pack them into <laughs> these bags. Uh, that might be my issue. <laughs> Those two would look kind of cute together. Let's do one like that. Okay. So again, two pieces of scrap. I have to kind of find the center. And we're going to sew right through that with the zigzag stitch. I don't know. I'm just picking numbers, really. <laughs> Just like a couple points different than the default, the default, because I don't want it to be really narrow. Okay, so we got the fabric down. Now... I have this piece of like crochet lace, how fabulous. I think I wanna put this here. And I'm gonna find something else. Oh, I have this lace, this lace is fabulous. Fabulous. So that bottom piece of fabric is no longer visible, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. Let me just even this out right here, though. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then, oh, this would be cute. That would be adorable. I like it. Should I put this think positive? That'd be kind of cute too. Let's see, what else do I have? I have another one of these little tags. Oh wait, 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 this is cute. This charming right here. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, so let's see if we can't trace around this with a straight stitch. I'm going to try my best. And of course, I'm using the longest stitch. If I'm stitching anything on paper, I use the longest stitch. I'm doing the best I can here, people. <laughs> There we go. So that is going to be this one. Isn't that cute? See, the fabric is nice and all bunched. It makes it feel really solid, even though you can pull the layers apart. I like that one. Let's do another one. Okay, so we have the piece that we're going to use on the back. And then we're going to my fabric stash. Oh, I have this fabric. It's so pretty. Yes, I love this fabric. I'm going to miss. Well, I have a lot of it actually. There's no reason to miss it yet. <laughs> I have so much of this fabric. I'm just going to cut off the little piece. Okay. Um, what can we put with that one? <sighs> this blue would be, well, this is not wide enough at all. What am I talking about? Okay, hang on. 
<laughs> this, this is interesting. I love this fabric. This could cover the whole thing. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so that'll go there. this up to the side like that. Okay, let's sew this together, zigzag stitch. And I'm using three length and five width. And then, let me see what kind of lace I can find. I like to find the, you know, there's some fancy bits of fab of lace that I have that's like the last of the last, <laughs> like this. Um, this is too, oh, we can make it dangle. That would be, oh, yes, I need to make more lace that dangles. Actually, actually, I love that. Let me do that. I love it. One moment, one moment. Oof. Okay, so that part doesn't have any cardstock on it, so it kind of bunched up. <laughs> I'm going to make it the uh, widest, longest uh, zigzag stitch I can. Okay, that fixed the issue. Now there's a little part here that doesn't have anything, so let me pick something. I think I'm going to go again with this pink lace bit that I have here. It's going to be this wide. Let me open this up so I can put this in there. Okay, okay, okay. Too, too high, too high, okay. Much better. Okay. So let's get this part cut off. There we go. All right, so we have this little part that dangled. Okay, I'm really liking, from doing this one over here, I'm really liking that look of like making them dangle. Sometimes it takes me a minute to like <laughs> make something look really cute. Sometimes it takes me a minute. Let's see. Oh, this is fabulous. This right here, oh, it looks so so hot couture <laughs> hot couture i watched this one lady fabulous lady uh she owns a store called the way we wore is that what it is i think yeah, the way we wore and she has a fabulous store i guess in la with a bunch of antique like fabulous uh, I forgot to go um, long on that stitch. But um, anyways, uh, they do. She sells uh, fabulous vintage stuff. And she, I don't know why I want to do this fancy stitch. Um, she always talks about haute couture this and haute couture that. <laughs> it's fabulous. Let's see if I can do a fancy stitch. I'm afraid because it's not really that wide. Um, let's see, maybe not. Or maybe I shouldn't. Uh, let's see. Maybe I'll just do a straight line then. I don't want to make it too complicated. Um, because I'm not trying to get out of bounds of the paper. <laughs> that paper back here is really important. Um, so I really need to keep that clear. <laughs> So let's just put the lines. Let's make, this might be easier to stitch. Like I said, once looks like a mistake. And two times crooked. That's a choice. So I made that one on purpose kind of crooked. Just it kind of like curves around a little bit. Just kind of like moved it. So that looks really cute. I really like this. Um, for some reason I want to even this out. I don't know why. It's just bugging me. I feel like that looks a little bit better, even though it's like so crooked. Oh, wait, let me see. Let me see. I need to tear my fabric next up. See, that looks a lot cuter. I think I'm gonna keep doing this whole dangle lace down here. I 
think I like it. Okay, so that was the second piece that we used. So let's do another one. These ones, I'm going to make them short. So I'm going to make three out of the ones that I would normally make two out of. So they'll be little. And let's just use the fabrics I have on my table. This fabric needs to be cut down slightly. And we will do that like that. And then we need to have, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? No. Okay, let's see this right here. It's got to be just as long as this. Okay. Two pieces of fabric on the base. And I'm going to stitch that together with the zigzag. Again, three length and uh, five width. Queen City Arts, Karen, what's up, what's up? Nice to see you here. Okay, so I wanna put little pieces of lace that dangle right here, right? Let me see what kind of lace I got. Oh, this is cute. This is like, I don't know what this type of lace is called, but it's adorable. I think I'm going to put that there. That will do it for me. Just like little scalloped, adorable, really sweet looking lace. Looks like it would be using like a baby's like christening or something the gown of them okay so let's i'm gonna do this with this it should hold with that yep, it's good yep 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 and then we could put maybe one of these little things oh i can continue it with this no i think i'll use that for something else let's see Oh, this little purple little tile here would be kind of cute and different. Okay, let's do that. And I'm just going to go ahead and go around the frame again with a straight stitch. And I'm just pretty much using a bunch of titles from my kits. Um, not using anyone in particular. I always include titles in my ephemera pages so basically that's what i'm working with is the titles that i include in the journals these are cute that looks adorable it just says faithful friend on there i think that's cute okay so i like the dangle lace pieces there let's do another one Oh, here's a little purple piece of fabric. Just a little piece of fabric. Looks adorable. And then we use maybe this pink. Wait, let me use another fabric. Hang on. Oh, oh, oh. This fabric is so fabulous. I love it. I absolutely adore this fabric right here. Trying to find a piece that I like. Maybe this blue part right here. Or there's this part over here with some purple on it. I think I like the part with the purple. Let's cut that. Okay. So let's sew this onto the fabric. Onto the little paperback. Okay, now we're going to do a zigzag stitch. Uh, I'm 
embroidery pillowcases. Ooh, I love embroidery. I don't do it myself, but I love it. My grandmother has always been into embroidering napkins. It's like a pastime out there in the remote villages of Mexico. And uh, I've always been around embroidered napkins or towels you know what I mean like they always um embroidered it but it's very simple embroidering um I've seen some really fabulous almost like 3d embroidery on my Pinterest and Instagram that just looks so cool um things I've never seen before so that is cool are you doing like uh, like more 3d embroidery or more just like the flat <laughs> Okay, here's some blue dangly, dangly lace. That would be fabulous. Let's put it on this purple side. Okay. And here we go. It did the lace got caught. <clears throat> the lace got caught, but but that's okay. That's okay. See when that happens, sometimes this type of thing will happen. You could just even it out. <laughs> like it never happened, y'all. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> This, see, this seems fitting right there. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Do that with a straight stitch. The longest setting. That looks so cute. I like it. Oh, flat, still cool, still cool. <laughs> like I said, I might... My mom's wanted me to get kind of into embroidery. She's also, well, she's not into embroidery. She's actually into crocheting. But when I went to Mexico a while back, um, the lady, the lady where she bought her yarn to crochet was trying to get me <laughs> to buy embroidery. Um, and we spent, basically spent like two weeks out there about four years ago and my mom would spend oh my god like hours at this food market where this lady sold her yarn and um i got to be good friends with the yarn seller's daughter and um so i would hang out there too when my mom would be there um, and the daughter was trying to get me to do embroidery and I was like, oh man, if I do any more sort of crafts, my hands are going to fall off. Like I was like, I really can't as much as I would love to pick up more hobbies. Like I kind of, you know, like no offense or anything, but I need to, this is my job. So like, I need to concentrate on what's going to make me money. You know what I mean? Like, so I need to spare my hands for that type of stuff. <laughs> Okay, I did that with the straight stitch. Is that okay? That seems okay. But I remember when I was younger, also when I went to middle school, when I was in middle school, I remember doing embroidery. And I think the project that I picked was way too much because I never finished it. <laughs> I was like planning some like elaborate Aztec headdress. Just, I mean, it's basically impossible. <laughs> basically impossible for a middle schooler to accomplish okay let me put that into perspective maybe a not so talented middle schooler maybe you have a more talented middle schooler than me than what I was like maybe probably but yeah I never finished that project <laughs> it was like some crazy headdress I was trying to do I still remember it <laughs> I don't know who told me that was a good idea, but it was not a good idea. 
Okay, so let's put this really cute lace right here. Hopefully this makes a little bit more sense. A little crooked. I think I'm okay with that. Maybe. I don't know. See you in a minute. Let me sew this on. This piece of lace. Okay. And uh, we need to do zigzag. Okay, that looks good. And I, am I okay with that? <laughs> am I okay with that being crooked? I don't know. Maybe not. Okay, that looks a little bit more refined, a little cuter. Now that we edited. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need something tiny, tiny. Um, tch -tch -tch -tch. 15 of cents. Oh, this would be cute right here. Put it off to the side like that or something. That would be adorable. Let me see if I can sew this on. I'm just going to use the default zigzag here. I want it to be a tiny stitch. are gonna be so cute. Okay, so there's that one, this little 15 cent. So cute, you guys. Oh my gosh. And I got this nice little pile here, little embellishments to do. I need to start making more embellishments. I want to make more journals. Um, so I definitely need to make more embellishments. Um, so this one's these ones are just gonna be cute. I'm just gonna um okay. So we have some time for some more. Let's see. This uh, you could definitely use a paper cutter for. Might be a little bit more even than what I'm doing. Okay, this one I'm going to cut in half and do two. So let's see here. Let's cut this part off right here. And then I keep using this fabric, but I want not that I'm gonna ever use it up. I have so much of it. Oh, 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 oh. This would be cute right here. I love it. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so those two pieces together. Right there. Okay, let's sew those together. I forgot to switch to bigger stitch. Darn it. I got lucky it didn't jam up. I usually do a bigger stitch for that. This is way too tiny for that. But it's okay. It's going to be alright. Let me look through my lace and see if I have any special little bits. I have this one right here. And I think I'm going to make this one two-toned like the other ones that I did. So let me just sew. I think maybe I'll put it on the outside. No, I don't want to put it on the outside. I want it to kind of dangle. Okay, so let's do this. Zigzag, make it bigger, wider. And um, let's see here. And then I want to put another piece of lace there. Oh wow, I have this like fabulous, like, what is this called? Applique? Yeah, applique. Oh, that's gonna be so pretty. Just gonna cut off a piece. And we are going to sew this onto this other thing. Okay, so pretty, it like glitters gold, if you can't tell. <laughs> And I love it. Okay, so that's going to be there. It's way too long, but we will cut it down. It's okay. Okay, let's sew it off. Okay. So now let's even this out. 
That looks fabulous with its gold tail. Again, you can't tell in the light, but it's really glistening and it looks really pretty. And I think for this one, I will use this like little French label. Where did it go? I have this French label. Okay, where is it? Okay, I don't know where it, where it is, but I have this and that's too small. Where did it go? I don't even know. Let's see, well, it's too big still. Where did it go? Yeah. It was like in my face for so long and now it's missing. <laughs> like, of course. Let's see here. Ramsey's. No, I don't like that. Try not to complicate things, but of course I'm complicating things. <laughs> okay, hang on. I'm trying to I'm trying to vibe with something here, you know? I'm trying to I'm trying to feel it out. Hang on. No, 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 no. Hang on. Let me grab another little handful of things here. Oh, this little jar. I forgot. I tried to put this on something. The little jar. Might be a little too big for the little jar. Yeah, it looks weird. Okay, 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 okay. I gotta pick something. Made of love. Oh, no, I'm not feeling that one either. Oh, oh there's this little... Shipping label. Mm, that's too small. Decisions, decisions, you guys. Oh, God. Maybe I used the one I think I haven't used. Probably did. <laughs> Am I going to go back to this? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go back to this. <laughs> you know what? I am going to do this. Okay. So we are on zigzag already. Let me make this a uh, regular, oh, mm, yeah, regular zigzag is fine. It's gonna be little. Okay, here we go. Probably make some just with the fabrics and the lace because I can use those decorate tags and stuff. Those are the cute objects. There we go. That does it for that one. I love this gold piece so much. We aren't on lockdown in Missouri yet, but I think it's coming. They added another week onto Taylor's spring break so far. Yeah, and I think it's coming for everybody. That's a good idea. I mean, we're on lockdown only. Non-essential businesses are open right, or non-essential businesses are closed right now. Um, only things like grocery stores and some other things are allowed to be open. But they haven't, like in New York, I guess we're not as bad as New York um, yet. <laughs> not funny, but um, yeah. Uh, and, uh, in New York, I think they told everybody to, like, reduce their workforce to zero, so, like, everybody has to stay home. Um, my husband's got a gig, to that starts tomorrow, so we're not, like, on lockdown as far as, like, you don't, you don't, you don't have to go to work, or, like, you can't work. Um, basically, I think they've said that if you, like, want to work, you can work. I don't know. Seems to be up in the air to everybody right now. Okay, so let's do this right here. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm gonna make the, the zigzag a little wider and longer. Okay. Um, I can't... Uh, oh my god, so Vaughn's near me. My almond milk that I normally buy right now, I'm drinking regular milk. Okay, it's hard times, you guys. <laughs> I'm used to almond milk right now. They have, it, like, it's either sold out, or today my husband went to the store, 
And he said that the milk that we, you know, the almond milk that we buy is normally um, $4.99, which is, you know, expensive. It's not cheap. Uh, but right now, <laughs> right now they want $8 for it. Like, what? They want $8 for this um, almond milk. <laughs> so I've, I've switched to dairy. <laughs> I have made the switch back to dairy. <laughs> Not that I stopped eating dairy. I still had like milk and everything. <laughs> Not milk. I like sour cream and cheese and everything else. But I have been drinking almond milk for the last couple of years. Just had to make the switch. Just had to make the switch for now. <laughs> First of all, like I said, because I couldn't find the almond milk that I wanted. <laughs> it was gone everywhere. Um. I guess everybody made the switch with me to almond milk. <laughs> and uh, now we're back on milk. Let's see. I don't want that. I don't want that. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I don't want to make it. Let me do it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> trying to find my fancier lace bits. Seem to be hiding from me right now. I really have some like fancy, like two inch. Okay, see this? This is fabulous. And it's, I think it's too wide for this project. <laughs> is it though? I mean, that's a ridiculous size, but also maybe. <laughs> it's a little too much though. It really is. That is a little much. <laughs> as much as I want to. <laughs> Gotta have my limits too, you know? Gotta have some limits. <sighs> Let's see. Okay. Sorry, I'm being a little indecisive right now. Let's see. Okay, okay. This would be cute. But I always like to remove this top part here. I never use this. I always prefer to, you see, because this lace like curves. So, like, I always prefer to cut that part off. Okay, it's not easy. Oh, gosh. And this one's not going to be easy at all, so I got to cut it. I got to cut it, cut it. Okay. And then it, like, flattens out the lace. It's, like, flat lace. <laughs> okay. There, I'm happy with this choice here. We'll even it out in a second. The boy is crying. Okay, so we're gonna even this out. Holy cow, eight dollars. Yes, eight dollars. Why do they do that? I don't know. You know, it's just you know, America. <laughs> uh, okay, so that goes there. Boo -boo. He's over there at his dad's like bathroom door. I don't know. Maybe my husband has the door closed. That's when he tends to cry is when you close the bathroom door on him. <laughs> uh, he tends to cry. Boo boo. Calm down. What is he doing? Don't leave him. He knows you're going to go, so he's sad. <laughs> okay, let's do this. And then that's going to be it for me for tonight. I will try to go live tomorrow during the day. I keep saying that. <laughs> I'm going to try and go live tomorrow during the day. Not sure what time, but I'm going to try and make it during the day. So expect a new video from me tomorrow, you guys. Let's see. This is what we got done tonight, and I think that they just look so cute. This is such an easy idea for you guys, and I know you have scrap fabric and scrap pieces of lace. You can um, Frankenstein them together to make some really cute um, embellishments. Boo boo! I hate when you cry. See, I don't want to cut that off because that has this little pretty piece right there. Um, so yeah, you guys, 
This was a fun little exercise. I've been doing nothing but decoupaging all weekend long. <laughs> so it's a it's a good little break here, but I'm not gonna lie, I do wanna get back to that decoupage. <laughs> but these were so cute and um, I'm definitely gonna make more. And um, I'm excited, these are really cute. A uh, good way to use up your scraps. Of course, I have <laughs> way more scraps than shown here in these embellishments. So I have a lot to work with. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to take it all easy. You know, chill out. Because like I said, I've been all tense. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. And um, have a good night, guys. Bye.